Our father just died, and the first thing you want to do is argue about his will? I know my father, Diego. He would have wanted me to run all of his hotels. Yeah, but that's not what his yes, will says. I don't says. believe that. He trusted me. Listen, Gustavo, I was closer to father these last few years. You weren't even around. You were too busy building your own hotel. It only makes sense that he would leave all his hotels to me. You have this one hotel. I have all the others. Enjoy Hacienda Tres Rio, Gustavo. If you can keep it. The truth is right there on the will. Okay? He trusted me with his legacy. Gustavo, you've always been a dreamer. A green hotel. Come on, Gustavo. The only green I know is money. <laughs> he didn't want a man with his head in the clouds. He wanted a businessman. He wanted a man with his feet firmly on the ground. That's me. <laughs> Your feet on the ground now? Don't make me forget that you're my brother. Okay. For my half brother. Impressive resume, Rebecca. You are extremely well-rounded. You have lived all over the world, a fluent in three languages. Here at the Cine Tres Rios is a big plus. Gracias. My mother moved me all around the world to follow her dreams. I'd like now to follow mine. Jen, I would like to be the first welcome you to Hacienda Tres Rios. You are our new guest relation director. Felicidades, Rebecca. Wow. Coming here has always been a dream of mine. They say the worst thing about this hotel is leaving. You start on Monday. Enjoy the weekend. Always good to be back, except seeing you. Now, where's your brother? Always oh, a charmer, Simon. He's inside his hotel. You should come see my hotels. Have fun. Snorkeling. Hello, gear. Mr. Johnson. The snorkeling gear is right over there in that little hut, right behind the bathroom. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. I needed that. No problem. First day? Yeah, it's first day. I thought so. San Francisco. Rebecca. That's the Johnson family. They come all the way from New York. He always starts his vacations like that, but after a couple of pina coladas, he'll be your best friend. <laughs> That's good to know. Well, I gotta go. I would love to show you around sometime. You know, around the property so you can get better acquainted. Uh, yeah, okay. How about this weekend? <laughs> I, sure. He didn't even care about my father. As soon as he found out he was dying, he rushed to his deathbed just so that he could get control of the hotels. Work it out with him. We have only Hacienda Tres Rios. Face it, Gustavo. Just talk to him. He's your brother, sweetie. He's not my brother. My brother wouldn't have lied to me like that. Come on, sweetie. You've given your whole life to this hotel. You managed to open the first green hotel in Cancun. Just talk to him. I think you and your brother should try to work it out. Why won't you listen to me? That's because I like looking at you much more than I like listening to you. <laughs> you have everything. Everything. Yes, yes, I do. I have you and I have everything. But it's funny, I always want more. More. I want more too. Maybe. Gustavo doesn't live in reality. 
He's always been a dreamer. He's more concerned about preserving the cenotes and planting mangroves and trees than about loving you. Oh, he wants to protect the land, not to take it for himself. Well, that's the difference between my brother and me. When I see something I want, I take it. So do I, but he can never know about us. Get dressed, get dressed. Get dressed, Anita. Hey, Simon! Simon! Miguel, where are you? Mr. Torres. Miguel is down the pool with his nanny. Uh, of course, thank you. You're new here, right? Yes. My name is Rebecca. Nice to meet you. I look forward to working for you, Mr. Torres. I like to say work with me. We're a team here. OK. I better find my son. I promised him we have some pizza and watch soccer for guys night tonight. My wife is working late, so. But hey, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Gustavo, when the Cuban cigar is good, there's nothing better in the whole world. And you can't buy this view. Your father knew you loved this land, Gustavo, and he loved you for that. Well, why'd he leave everything to my brother? Your father always had a plan. He may have been a mystery to most, but I got him. How could this have been his plan? Trust me. When your father was a young man, he wanted to take over this whole corner of Mexico. But then you came along, and he saw what was really important. You were his hope. I loved him very much. This doesn't make any sense to me. Some people have millions. Your dad did. I do. See that man further down the beach over there? He may not have much money at all, but both of us are enjoying the same beach in the same way on the same day. In the end, Nature is a great equalizer. Your father won this land for everybody, Gustavo. And he wanted you to want that too. Donde se fueron, por donde se irán. Donde se fueron, por donde se irán. Se fueron pa' una rumba. Join your day off? Yeah. <laughs> so did you survive your first week? I did. It was great. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, I have to take this. No worries. I'll see you this weekend. Rebecca? Mom? Hi, honey, it's me. What's going on? Are you okay? Baby, I'm coming to Cancun. When? Cancun, when? Tonight, I'm, I'm catching a flight in a few hours. I don't understand what's going on. Baby, I know I haven't spoken to you in three years, but... I'm sick, Rebecca. I'm dying. And it's made me realize what a, what a terrible mother I've been, and I just want to spend as much time as I possibly can with you, with the time that I have left. Rebecca, are you there? Um, you're dying? It's cancer. It's inoperable. Baby, I need you to be strong for me. Because I, I know this is God's way of punishing me for... for traipsing around the world after a married man. 
giving him the best years of my life and neglecting you. I don't mean to be a burden, baby. I'm arriving at 9.50 on Alaskan Airlines. I'll see you soon. I'll meet you at the airport. See you, Mom. Good. You did good. Now let's go get my money. <laughs>